Hey guys, I wanted to show you something with the searching here. If you've used uh, XP in the past, you've noticed uh, if you've ever gone to search for a document, uh, you can type in the name of the file or a partial name of the file and you can find it there. Um, if now in Vista, as well as Windows 7 now, there is no search button. It's simply uh, when you click on the pearl down here at the bottom, you can start typing in what it is you're looking for and one of the things here I was looking for earlier uh, for myself even was the sound and uh, I was wondering what where the sound is stored and there's one in particular I knew it was called Raga so I knew there wouldn't be anything else with that name so I thought I'd search for that and then here's all the files now if you do this by default it's not gonna work you're gonna get nothing so I want to show you how I was able to do this we, what we need to do is uh, change the search indexing how it works and where it's searching so to do that we'd go into the Perl and open your control panel in the control panel you'll find indexing options within the indexing options you'll see what it is that's being indexed here included locations you can go to modify or advanced I'll go down to modify now by default um, I added a few things already here uh, but you'll see the Internet Explorer history OneNote Outlook is being checked and in the C drive program data user data uh, a few directories will be um, indexed for searching so what I would like to do is if I'm searching my computer for something I want it to search the entire computer to make sure I am not missing anything so what you do is just click on the box to check the C drive and I've got a second partition so I want to be able to search that of course too because as you can see here uh, that's the data drive and that wasn't being indexed at all um, that's where all my data is and that's what I would be searching for is within the data most of the time so definitely I want that indexed so I gotta check on these things and then click OK and it will be added to your included locations then you can just close that and your computer will start indexing um, it's not going to show up right away but give it some time to finish indexing and then the next time when you go to search for that file you're going to find it's going to be in the list that's it Post your comments, rate the video, and let me know what else you guys like to see. Thanks.